Hi everybody and welcome back to both of my channels this time and it's a bit of a strange video to be making or probably not when you consider the the amount or the tidal wave of videos out there right now on this one subject that's on everybody's lips that is the FTC's um, COPPA uh, which is the Children's uh, Act in America that is obviously there for very, very good reasons to protect children up to the age of 12, certainly in America. Now that said, uh, there has been an almighty amount of comments, uh, thoughts, theories. People are deleting their YouTube channels, which I absolutely think is crazy. We don't even know what's happening yet. Uh, exactly. We do know that there are certain things related to the fact that if we are in any way have our videos that we create uh, influencing children to watch them and if we state that our uh, video is made not for children then obviously the YouTube algorithms or whatever run all these things will put adverts on our videos that those children will see and should not be able to see. So the idea with with copper is to prevent children under the age of 12 seeing adverts that they shouldn't be seeing. So although there are other measures to stop children seeing our videos or seeing videos that they shouldn't do, there are nonetheless seeing them uh, because either their parents are not controlling what they're seeing or they just access to these with their devices and and they're not following the rules the point being that um, if we mark our videos okay for kids then we lose all uh, our chats all our comments and most of our monetization for those who are monetized if we mark our uh, videos that they are not for kids that they are in fact you know for adults and if the FTC uh, in their wisdom decide that uh, we are wrong in that in that decision then they can alter our whatever and they can actually find us as well so I don't know how far to take all this because what really is scary as I said that uh, people are already deleting their channels and I really think that's crazy. We do not know what is going to be happening and until uh, there is clearer definitions from either the FTC or indeed YouTube taking out the grey areas that exist right now, everyone's running scared because it is too subjective. It is uh, open to so much interpretation. And, and I don't know where that's going to be going. The thing is that people are saying all sorts of stories and you just really don't know who, who to believe or who not to believe. Who's really got their finger on the pulse and knows exactly what's going to be. And those who don't really fully and are just jumping on the bandwagon. I suppose in a way so am I. I'm, I'm sort of... I'm jumping on the bandwagon, I'm not. I don't really mean to be doing that. I'm just so concerned anyway about it because I'm in a whole quandary as to where do I fall in the, all of these uh, subjective thoughts and decisions and processes. But at the same time, I don't want to get into trouble, but I really love doing what I do. I have, for those who know me, I have two uh, channels. I do have one which is my art channel which is Paul Apps Artist and I have one for my other love which is Railway Modeling which is called Sandling Junction and uh, you know I just add content to both of those on a weekly basis or the trains every two weeks I've got to be honest but all that said I, I just don't understand I mean there's all this talk also about uh, the terms all changing whereby YouTube can close down a channel if it's deemed unprofitable. Really? I can't believe that. 
it was all founded on the freedom of putting videos up. There are millions of videos go up where people are not monetized, where people celebrate their lives, they, they get involved with their family, they follow a pursuit. They're not making huge profits and they're not profitable to YouTube. So are YouTube going to shut them all down? I can't think so. The other thing is that if all of us who are creating content that is monetized, that is earning ad revenue, not just for us, but also for YouTube, are they really going to start allowing things to get so silly that, uh, you know, the subjective question is, is a model railway attracting kids? Is the act of painting attracting kids? I can't see it. Because if that happens, then pretty much the whole of YouTube will grind to a halt and any money that they do make is going to be gone. And, you know, it's one arm of Google that will just cease to operate. And I can't ever see that happening. There are shareholders, there are people out there that would stop that happening, I'm sure. So, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know. I just think it's a crazy situation. And I think that uh, there are so many people out there uh, putting their necks on the line, sticking their necks out uh, and saying all these things. I'm sure some of it should be taken uh, with less than a pinch of salt some of it should just forget about it because i just think there's a lot of scaremongering going on um i have seen uh people you know sort of talk about that's the end what am i gonna do help me really you just need to throttle back a little bit and just see what happens i mean if you are if you are not inciting kids if you are not uh, pandering to children to watch this. I'm not painting little cartoony pictures and say, oh, paint along with me and help get mummy to help you and all this sort of thing. No, my tutorial videos, my how-to videos on painting are for adults and adults only. No children under the age of 12 are going to sit and want to watch uh, an hour or half an hour of me talking about what color I put here and how to do that color there. Uh, it'd be very different approach if I was doing videos of that nature for them and I'm not. And at the same time with the railways, you know, I, I don't know, uh, it's, there's a, there's a gentleman from New Zealand. I saw his video this morning. I think it's called station road. And he was saying that quite literally, all the packaging of all the stuff we use, pretty much all the stuff we use in railway modeling is it's actually got this uh, disclaimers on each of the packets, Backman, Hornby, Dapol, Helgen, all these companies, even Woodland Scenics, all have a clause on them. Not This is not a toy. This is not suitable for children under the age of 14. Hey, then I don't see that there's a problem. And as others have said that, you know, we are creating content out there for other adults who are in this uh, I don't know, fraternity or hobby to enjoy and learn from. And in turn, we look at other people's and we learn from them. So I, for one, have marked both my channels as not for children. In other words, uh, my monetization will i hope remain on sandling junction and uh, i'm not yet monetized for my painting channel paul apps artist that is growing and at some point in the next 12 months i do hope that that threshold will be met and i will become monetized so i've only just come into this in both sandling for the last year or so and certainly from the point of view of the art channel since june and I've put an awful lot of work into both of the channels and I continue to put a lot of work in. Many, many, many hours a week on filming, content, editing that content, uh, scheduling this, doing something else and making sure that I can keep turning over new paintings or new train videos as fast and as often as I can. 
And I would hate to think that all that time and investment that I've put in will be to naught. You know, it will be just wasted time. Well, it actually won't be. I mean, there, if there is a loss to YouTube, I feel sure that the vacuum will be filled uh, by some other platform coming out there with less problems attached to it, albeit that it will be a lot smaller because obviously YouTube is backed by the biggest search engine in Google. But if Google and YouTube are not going to protect the people that contribute to their platform, they'll have no darn platform. It's as simple as that. If you, uh, if your platform exists because people put content on it, then if there are no longer people putting content on it, you have no platform. So at the end of the day, if the problem lies with YouTube or indeed Google, the parent company, in not protecting either themselves against the FTC or indeed protecting the content creators worldwide, then they're going to see a massive drop in created content on their platform. And that is only going to serve to hurt their revenues in terms of adverts or adv advertising. However, that is uh, brought into their pockets. Now, I can't see a big company like Google or its offshoot YouTube allowing them to just dwindle away to nothing because they didn't do anything or they didn't stand by the content creators that are the lifeblood of their platform. Because I tell you, if everyone, if everybody around this world shut down their channel, there'll be no YouTube tomorrow. It'll be gone, end of, and a whole revenue stream for that company gone. So of course that's crazy. That's not going to happen. But I just feel that, you know, if there is a lot of truth in what's being said and we have really got something to worry about, then I think the likes of Google and YouTube should step up and, um, you know, man up, as it were, and do the right thing and stand by the content creators out there and allow us to have some form of security moving forward because there isn't enough defined or definition out there. There is not enough clarity out there. Everything is subjective. Everything is gray, murky. Everyone is running scared. And as I said just now, people are just dumping their channels and say, oh, I'm not getting involved anymore, which I think personally is crazy, especially for people like myself who've put so much effort into what they're doing thus far. I don't want to let it go. I enjoy my ray, uh, my model railway. I enjoy filming it. I enjoy putting the content out there. I enjoy interacting with all my subscribers, the comments and everything I get. Equally with the painting, it's a lot smaller, but it is growing. And I enjoy creating the paintings and talking to people and interacting with people, my subscribers that are growing on there. And that leads also to my Patreon page as well, because that's growing and if YouTube went down with that, I guess I would lose my patrons as well because obviously they rely on the YouTube platform. So if all that's the case, then what, what else can we do? Well, I've heard people talk about petitions. There are petitions. I'll try and figure out um, what they are and leave some links below that you can get involved and sign that and send that off and talk to the FTC and give your thoughts and your opinions in a very diplomatic way. I'm not talking about getting silly over the comments, but certainly put your point forward. Um, whether that will help, whether the FTC will listen, I do not know. Are Google or YouTube so big and so above themselves that they don't really care? Well, I think that the world is full of companies who had that uh, thought and that opinion about their selves in the past and look where that got them they no longer exist um, and it could be the fate of youtube certainly if not i shouldn't think google go down but youtube may take a big tumble uh, if somebody in that company does not sit up and sort this 
darn mess out because people around the world are running scared and I'm only representative of two small genre of video uh, content. There are thousands, millions of different types of content out there on a massive different subject matter. And if they're all going to be hit and all going to be worried, then they're all going to stop doing it. So I think that um, from my own point of view, I will carry on doing what I'm doing until I'm told I can't. But in the meantime, I will also be backing up every film that I make in future. And I will go back over some of my other ones and tailor them so that if that does happen, I can then start putting them onto another platform that will accept them. And I can try and continue what I'm doing both through my website and also through maybe Vimeo or one of these other platforms. And hopefully not all will be lost. It will probably be a much slower growth, but it will grow nonetheless. But I just hope that uh, all the um, scaremongering that's going on, all the the big names out there saying, oh, this is this $42,000 fines for every video. I think you've got to get a bit real about this and, and um, say that that's just crazy. And I can't see uh, the FTC chasing a little channel with, with a few hundred subscribers who uh, doesn't earn a penny from it and is just an average Joe and charging 42,000 times however many videos he's got there because he ticked the wrong box. I just can't see it. And if that's the case, then this world is gone to hell in a handcart, as a friend of mine always used to say. And if that's the case, then what's the point? But now I'm being doom and gloom. I just don't know what the answers are. I just throw my two penneth into the mix and... There'll be comments out there that will shoot me down and there will be comments out there I'm sure that will agree. But whatever your thoughts are, put them in the comments section below. I will answer as many as I can get around to doing. And uh, hopefully that uh, this will come the 1st of December or the 10th of December, whenever it is, it will come, it will sort itself out. I mean, you know, the, the algorithm's changing all the time. YouTube keeps changing its policies once a year or whatever it is. And it's still going. People still moan. They still do this, that and the other. But it's still going. They're still creating content. So I think that this uh, should blow over once everybody knows uh, what is involved and uh, where they actually stand, then I'm sure it'll be fine. So until that time, I am just going to carry on as I always have done. Excuse me. And I will, um, yeah, until I'm told I can't, I will carry on. And if I can't or I'm told I can't, then I'll try and put my work out there in a different way. Um, either way, I'm still going to carry on making films uh, for both my railway and also my painting. And I'll enjoy, hopefully, as much of your company in terms of subscribers, uh, patrons, and comments, and interact with you as long as I possibly can. And I hope that is for many, many years. So if YouTube are listening to this, please listen to the people that create the content for your platform. Listen to the content creators and do something to protect them and help them. Don't just sit back in your ivory towers, counting your dollars of profit and leaving us to pick up all the pieces, especially when I understand that it was you in the first place that caused half this problem. So if that's the case, please take a note and do something about it. And um, yeah, what else? That's a rant over. Um, I'm going to keep creating content, guys, and I hopefully, hopefully I'll enjoy your company for a long, 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 long time. And on both my channels, Paul Apps Artist and Sand Injunction, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button for me. It really does help. Despite all the rest that's going on right now, it does help grow my channels, and I much appreciate that. So please, please, please subscribe to them. All the best.
Catch you all soon. Rant over. Let's hope craziness goes and normality resumes very, very soon. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.